Right now we have new details tonight in a deadly crash involving a school bus. The Florida Highway Patrol is identifying the driver who they say hit and killed a pedestrian and then smashed into several vehicles, including a school bus filled with kids. They tell us that 38-year-old Lavarius Bethel will be facing charges for this fatal crash. CBS 4's Ashley Dyer is learning more about the driver tonight. She is live at the scene in Hialeah Gardens. And Ashley, what are you finding out? Well, Elliot, we did some digging. We found out Lavarius Bethel has been pulled over many of times for traffic violations like driving with a suspended license. On top of that, he has a lengthy criminal background. You're watching the aftermath of a horrific, deadly crash in Hialeah Gardens. It was really gruesome, really. Troopers say it all started with this pickup truck. Then you just heard a large impact. Nelson Martinez so was at right work away. when he heard the collision. My God, we got to go, we got to go. We ran over there and sure enough, there was three cars uh, smashed into the, uh, the bus plus the car that was involved in the accident. He immediately jumped into action. There was about seven of us that were trying to pull the guy out of the car, which was the black Audi, and he was completely uh, smashed in there. And we had to break open two doors just to make sure we can kind of get in there. Troopers say the driver of the pickup truck, Lavarius Bethel, was getting off the 826 at Northwest 103rd Street when he hit and killed a pedestrian, then smashed into a school bus and several cars. He was driving so fast, we had to slow down this video to show you the moments leading up to the collision. It was like a movie. It was like somebody getting completely slaughtered. One person was killed and several people were injured. The crash was so tragic, a witness we talked to had a hard time talking about it. To be honest, I don't even like to recollect on it. I try to like just pray on it and keep going. Bethel has yet to be arrested, but troopers say charges are coming. His arrest record dates back to 2002. I, I think everyone wanted to go after the guy who caused the accident. It, 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 got, it got pretty intense. I look for you out here live where that accident happened yesterday. We know troopers did collect a blood sample to see if Lavarius Bethel was impaired. Those results are still pending. We are working tonight to identify the pedestrian who was hit and killed. We're live in Hialeah Gardens. Ashley Dyer, CBS 4 News. Ashley, thank you. Florida Highway Patrol troopers say the number of crashes on our roads went down drastically last year in the midst of the pandemic, while many people were working from home. Now, though, we're seeing a spike in crashes. FHP Lieutenant Alex Camacho says there are several crashes every day on the Palmetto Expressway. 